Hello, I'm Christopher J. Thompson, and welcome to another edition of Chris Speaks. All right, okay, so the past, like, like over the past, like, five, six, seven years, has been going on for a long time, but we've seen more of it because of uh, the Internet and all this stuff where everything's getting out there more. Well, we've had all these police problems with police shootings, and a lot of it was unarmed black people getting shot by the police in... A lot of people, white people, Republicans, conservative people in general, are were always sitting there and defending the cops, defending the cops, defending the cops, where they don't think the cops should even be indicted or or anything. But now everybody suddenly cares about a police shooting because a white woman got shot by a cop. Uh, um, she she was the woman who called nine one one and she got shot by the cop responding, one of the cops responding to it. But a few months ago, a black woman called the cops and they shot her and there was no outrage. Where's the outrage? Where's the Republican outrage on that? No, now suddenly it's a white person and they suddenly care. And they care more because she was shot by a black Muslim cop. Oh my God, it's scary. It's the Muslims. I don't know why. What, people freak out about things they don't they're being so prejudiced they're so hateful it's just ridiculous okay so uh, this woman she was Australian born and she was in middle, Minneapolis and she was uh, fatally shot by this police this police officer okay she was the one who called the cops because she thought that a sexual assault was going on Okay, yeah, it's bad. This guy was a rookie. This is another problem. The training's not good. He shouldn't be a cop because there was a loud noise and he freaked out and he um, shot. And I don't think he should be murdered. I think he should be tr tried for um, uh, involuntary manslaughter and have to do some time. That's so it is just like I think all the cops, no matter what color they are, what the victim's color is, is that they need to face the law, they need to be get what's coming to them, they need to be punished for what they've done. And uh, that's not happening, but now suddenly when the tables are turned and the races are the opposite, now, now it's a whole different story. Okay, so we have uh, Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, that she was at some kind of gubernatorial thing, um, and she began, instead of immediately talking about police brutality, she started talking about how that, um, the fact that, oh my god, there's an increasing Muslim population in Minnesota, and blah, 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 like it's a problem, so she immediately starts going, take, going to the, blame the Muslims, blame the black Muslim guy already, so here we go, so she, she began yeah, not talking about police brutality, but the fact that the Somali Muslim population is increasing in the area, and said that people were worried about it in the area, okay, so she said that, uh, and she went on to say that we shouldn't, they shouldn't be, people shouldn't be afraid to be called Islamophobic or racist or or bigots, and then began to say racist, bigoted, Islamophobic stuff. Okay, so what she's really saying is that people should be able to judge people without any facts, any evidence, that people that they don't know prejudge them, be prejudiced, but not being called prejudice, even though that's the definition of prejudice. Okay. The fact that the same people defended the who defended the white cops to the end when they were shooting black people uh, that are now suddenly, they're against this cop because it's a white woman shot and it's a Muslim cop, right? These are the same people. Um, and then uh, the next thing, Michelle Bachman, to prove of how much of a bigot she isn't, she claimed that the officer, um, that... He's an affirmative, he got an affirmative action job. In other words, she's saying that he didn't qualify for the job. He just got the job because he was black, even though offering no evidence to contrary. So right there, you're just showing the race, yourself as the racist you are. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, 
I just don't understand. It's like, when unarmed black people were getting shot, the media was coming out defending the cops and, and saying how the victims of the thing were thugs, and there, even Trayvon Martin, who wasn't killed by a cop, but by some crazy guy in the neighborhood, was a thug. Where's the people call, uh, coming out of the woodwork, all the conservatives, where are they here calling her a thug and, and demonizing her and trying to bring up her past and investigating her? No, for the first time, you want to bring up the cop and what he's doing in his training and all of this stuff. <sighs> Hey, so, so now the same people that are pro-cop all the time are throwing this guy under the bus because he's a Muslim. And this is all like, I'm not defending his behavior. Uh, just like when the cops shoot black people, same thing, it should be under investigation. I think the, the training needs to change. I, and um, I think all cops should be accountable for their actions. But to suddenly not defend this person because they're a Muslim and totally hate on them because they're a Muslim and then you cry and whine when you're called Islamophobic? This is crazy. Like, this shouldn't even come up. That we should, because Michelle Bachman went on to say, well, when they investigate them, will they ask him cultural questions? Well, ask the white people cultural questions too. I mean, this is utterly ridiculous. This double standard. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Till next time, I'll see you.